hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the Blueprint of Life module, and more specifically the Inheritance chapter of the Blueprint of Life module. While doing the second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you need about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready. Um, the question itself is Nick's wife, Mar Mary, has a history of recurring color blindness in her family. Jack, the two year old son, may be green, red, green, color blind. Maria's brother, Vincent, and Paul are color blind, but her brother, James, is not. Maria's mother, Anne, is a carrier of red, green, color blindness. Her father, John, is unaffected. A. Construct a family pedigree to show the inheritance of this sex linked genetic disorder with four marks. B. Predict whether Jack will be colorblind. Justify your answer. That's with two marks. All right, so when ready, press pause and attempt the question. Welcome back. All right, so for this question, what you should do first, you should quickly go through the different symbols you'll be using. So I would say this one is the unaffected circle, unaffected, and there's no coloring, that's the unaffected female. The actual square, which is not circled in, is the unaffected male. We've got the circle, which is colored in, is your actual affected female. And the square, which is colored in, is your affected male. So this is what the first thing you should do. You should give the marker an idea that you know these symbols mean different things. So this is unaffected female, and this is unaffected male. This is affected female, so this means that this person has color blindness. Affected female, and this would be unaffected, uh, sorry, affected male. Right, so what, we, what do we have given? We know that her father John is unaffected. We we'll start with the actual parents of Maria. So her father John is unaffected and the mother is a carrier. I think it says somewhere here. Mary's mother, Anne, is a carrier of red color blindness. Alright, so we've got one of them, which is the father who is unaffected. And we know that whilst um, the actual parent, so whilst Marie is also unaffected, she is a carrier. So some people, they when it, so this would be unaffected. Some people say if carrier, you can do half of it being done like this. And you can or you cannot, it doesn't really matter that much, but this would be, this is, this is unaffected, she doesn't have color blindness, but she is a carrier. Then these will have their babies, and they have obviously four kids, which the actual question says as well. And the kids, this is the marriage line, and this is the descendant line. And the kids were, we have four of them. And they are, she, she is, so her name was Maria. Maria is unaffected. She definitely doesn't, doesn't have color blindness. She might be a carrier, but she doesn't have color blindness. So that's Maria, and I'm going to go over the names in a second as well. Then what else do we have? Jack, the maybe Vincent and Paul are color blind. So Vincent and Paul, two males, are color blind. So that's where we have this kind of diagram. But her brother James is not. So she has a brother which is not, who is not color blind. And then we would just quickly put down the names. I'll write them in red. So this is Maria. This is Paul. This is Vincent. This is James, who's unaffected. And this is the father, who is, his name is John. And this is the mother who is Anne. I'd say that Marie had a child with 
Nick. So Nick was an original person. Nick's wife Marie. So these two are married. So we'll do the marriage line again. It doesn't actually say what. It doesn't say if Nick is affected or not. So we don't really know. But it doesn't actually matter. So we'll put a question mark. We don't know what that is. And now it's asking what is his name, the boy that they have. So again, this descendant line, they have one boy and his name is Jack. So Jack is a boy. And the question is asking, what is Jack? Is Jack a colorblind or not colorblind? And so this is our pedigree tree, as we'll get you four marks. You've done the correct, you've said you have the actual legend. So you said that, okay, these are, these are, these are the things that they stand for. You've done the correct table and you have done the correct descendant line and marriage line. And that would be your four marks. So now we've just established that Jack himself might or might not be colorblind. And the reason why we know that it will be covered in B, part B. It says predict whether Jack will be colorblind, justify your answer. So what I wrote is Mary had Maria, so this is Maria, has a 50% chance of being a carrier. So she's not affected, she doesn't have both her um, alleles being colorblind, but she ha might have a 50% chance of being a carrier, as a mother was a carrier. So if she got the unaffected allele from her mom, she'll be fine. If she got the affected allele from her mom, she'll be a carrier. If Maria, if Maria is a carrier, then Jack has a 50% chance of being colorblind. So if Maria were to be a carrier, so it's saying if she were a carrier, so let's assume she's a carrier, then if she gets the healthy one from her mom, She'd be fine, like Jack be fine if she gets the healthy one. But if she gets the unhealthy, or the, the not the unhealthy, um, the colorblind allele from her mom, there's two alleles, she get either one. He'll get either one, sorry. If he gets the colorblind one, he'll have colorblindness. If he gets the unaffected one, then he won't be colorblind. There's a 50% chance that Jack will be colorblind if Marie is a carrier. That's what that says. And this statement gets you a mark, and then the other mark is with two marks, you would have gotten, so by just saying, so it's unknown if Jack is colorblind, but there's a chance that he is. So it might be, he might be colorblind, but we don't really know. And that gets you a mark as well. That's worth two marks out of two. And that was worth four marks out of four for this one. And where these questions come from? They come from two dot points. First one says, students will perform a first investigation to construct pedigree or family trees and trace the inheritance of selected characteristics and discuss the current use. That was just the fact that you need to be able to draw these pedigree trees. And the second part was students will solve problems involving co-dominance and sex linkage. So this was a sex linkage problem. And that's where that question came from. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.